538 days into the pandemic in Tennessee and our state has surpassed 1 million COVID cases. Here's the data our state health department has tracked so far. More than 13,000 people have died in our state. Right now, just over 41% of Tennesseans are fully vaccinated. Metro Health opened two new lanes at their drive through location and vaccination center in Nashville. That's because demand for testing is so high. Health experts tell News 4 they're seeing numbers at testing sites they haven't seen since last fall, but here's a disappointing trend happening there too. The number of people showing up for the test far outnumber people getting the vaccine. It's something health leaders want changed. News 4's Carissa Jackman sat down with health officials as they pushed to get more Davidson County residents vaccinated. Correct. That's, that's right, Marius. There are now eight lanes open at the Murfreesboro Pike location. By 8.30 this morning, more than 300 people were tested and over Overall today, over 1,200 people received COVID-19 tests and the National Health provided 49 vaccinations. And while all this is great news, experts say the best way to beat all of this is to just get vaccinated from the start. It's like deja vu, car after car, lining up at the old Kmart off Murfreesboro Pike. The same image we saw here months ago at Nissan Stadium and at Meharry. The major difference now, vaccines are available but the number of people getting vaccinations each day pale in comparison to those getting tested. I don't know what people are afraid of. That's very hard for me to understand. 79-year-old Carmel Jasinovic and her 87-year-old husband, Alan, showed up for their booster shots. But the site reached full capacity by noon Tuesday, forcing them and other cars to turn around and come back the next day. Jasinovic is one of very few cars looking for another dose of the vaccine. News 4 asked Meharry how many people showed up at the location just this week. On Monday, 909 people showed up for a COVID test, only 41 for the vaccine. That's less than 5% for the shot. And on Tuesday, officials say 853 tests were given out, but only 42 vaccinations. That means only 5% of these cars showed up Tuesday for a shot. So what is being done to, I guess, help with the increase in demand? More locations? Well, that's one of the things I know that the Office of Emergency Management is working on. Brian Todd, spokesperson with the Metro Public Health Department, says they're adding nurses to the Kmart site where people can get the vaccine. We hope we have a lot of people wanting the vaccine. That frees up all the other Meharry personnel, moving the Meharry folks just to doing testing. We hope that that's going to speed things up. And speeding things up quickly is what the health department says the state really needs. Right now, only 50% of people in Davidson County are fully vaccinated. A step in the right direction, but one that needs to increase if we want to get out of this pandemic. The effectiveness of the vaccine goes way up the more people are vaccinated because it, it stops that virus from going any further. It's a problem Carmel says would easily be solved if people just get the shot. We come from um, a time, uh, a demographic where we knew about polio. We would not have ref refused our children a polio vaccine. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has something to add to the conversation. But really now I think it's time for action. Get vaccinated. Now, the Office of Emergency Management says they're in the process of identifying locations to add another testing site, and they'll provide that information once everything is finalized. Now, the mayor's office shared this list. It shows pop-up sites where you can get either a vaccine or a COVID test. No appointments are needed, and both the test and the vaccine is free. To see this full list, we'll have it on our website, WSMV.com.